Hi, I'm Hannah Fitz, and today I'll be sharing with you two strategies that will help you differentiate your brand and stand out as a go-to expert in your market. Welcome to HannahFitz.com, the place where in-demand experts and entrepreneurs come to upgrade their brand, create a powerhouse brand presence, get inspired, and live the cultured life. So how do you create that differentiation that sets you apart and helps you stand out in your market as a go-to expert when it's already crowded? Today, I'm going to share with you two strategies that two of the biggest brands from Italy used to really set themselves apart in the Italian fashion industry and dominate the global stage. So the two brands that I'm going to reference in this case study here today is Versace versus Armani. At the time that they both started, you know, they were two uh, young designers who were coming on the Italian fashion scene. And they really both managed to become the leading players in the fashion industry by employing two different strategies. Versace went for what is known as maximalism. And maximalism is all about more is more. Okay, the brand is bold, vivid colors, sexy cuts, baroque styles. In fact, Gianna Versace said, I don't believe in good taste. And that was him making a statement against the whole establishment of fashion that required things to be elegant and in and tasteful. Now, Armani on the other side went for the minimalism. So it was a different side of the spectrum. It was all about sim simplicity and simple elegance. Less is more. It was about the woman in the dress compared to Versace, which was more about the dress on the woman, making that statement about who she is. And so these two brands went for two polar opposite positionings in the market. And it was because of those extreme positionings that they did not have to fight with everybody else who was playing it safe in the middle. And so, you know, some of the ways that you can think about differentiating your own brand is think about, you know, where do you want to go? Do you want to bring a maximalism perspective to the market? Or do you want to bring a minimalism perspective in terms of your aesthetic and your style approach to things? Because it shows that when you take polar opposite positioning rather than going to the middle, you have a stronger chance of standing out, making a bigger impact and getting noticed in your market. So this is my tip for you today. Think about, you know, where do you want to be? Maximalism or minimalism?